for an overcast and hem type technique, I'm gonna start off with some stretchy fabric. It's kind of like a, we'll call it a heavier stretch fabric. So tech, uh, fabric letter F. And we're gonna do technique number three, the overcast and seam. Now it has me put on foot B. So we'll go ahead and switch to the proper foot. And again, that stitch is gonna change based on what fabric that you actually tell it you're doing. We're actually gonna stitch this ribbing on. So I'm gonna fold the ribbing in half, place the raw edges next to the cut line here, and then go ahead and take a few stitches just to see where to guide it. I like to guide it kind of on the inside of this particular presser foot. And then we're gonna stretch the ribbing a little bit as we stitch all the way around it. What's nice about this stitch is it's stitching off the edge of the fabric, Plus it's putting a stitching line that will have give. And um, so it's kind of like doing it all at once. If you own a serger, but the serger's like set up with black thread and you kind of need a light colored thread, you remember all these stitches that you have right at your fingertips. It's no use in going and setting it all up if you only have a, a short little distance to go. Yes, a serger is good, but not if it's gonna not save you any extra time when you go to use it. Save that for those projects that you actually plan for. Now, of course, don't forget a, like a stretch needle or a ballpoint needle for this type of project. Use the selective thread cutter at the end and take a look at this. So we have a beautiful stitch, it stretches, and it is the seam all at once. So that is what they call a seam and overcast stitch on a knit fabric.